Hello friends, in this video, I will discuss about how flipped classroom works, what are its requirements and the useful tools. Flipped classroom approach adopts student-centric pedagogy to effectively engage the learning environment with the use of technology and media. Flipped classroom approach has two components, out-class time and in-class time. Out-class time, direct instructions are delivered through digital lessons to instruct the students and allow them to practice the skills. For engaging the students out class time, teacher should plan beforehand and has to decide the content to be taught, fix the expected learning outcomes, decide the technology or media suitable for the delivery of the content, also decide which mode of information transmission will be easiest for your students to access the out class time, also decide whether to make the videos or curate according to the need of the content to be taught. Design the suitable strategy for making video students accountable for watching videos. In order to apply flipped classroom model, it is not necessary to be a professional video producer. It is possible to use any source that explains in the subject. It may include PDF, recorded sounds, websites, etc. Tucker expressed that flipped classroom educators are not needed to prepare their own videos. Instead, they can reach lecture videos from internet sites such as Khan Academy, YouTube or TED. But most of the educators and researchers prefer to prepare their own videos. Flexible environment in which students choose when and where they learn. Flipped classroom requires a shift in learning culture from teacher-centric to student-centric approach. Flipped learning requires an intentional content which helps to maximize the classroom time in order to adopt various strategies, methods for instruction. It also requires skilled professional educator to shift direct instruction from the group to the individual learning space. These four elements are called as four pillars of flipped learning. How the intentional video should be? It should be a single concept. It should cover within 5 to 10 minutes, rarely of 20 minutes, specifically created for explaining single content simple and clear in the concept and language. It may include audio, slides, annotations, screen captures, etc. Let us take a look of an example intentional video. In this video, you will learn how to calculate the area of triangle from the area of rectangle. The key intention, a triangle is half as big as a rectangle that surrounds it, which is why the area of triangle is one half time its base and height. See the triangle which has a base and a height. Draw a line and make it to form a rectangle as shown here. As you know, the area of rectangle is base into height. To calculate the area of triangle, divide the area of rectangle by 2. Let us see this through the given example. A triangle has base of 4 units. Height of 5 units. The area of rectangle is base into height. So 4 into 5 equal to 20 square units. To find the area of triangle, divide the value by 2. 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10 square units. Hope you understand the concept. A triangle is half as big as the rectangle that surrounds. See you in next video. Hope you understand the idea. Let us move to the next concept. The main aim of flipped classroom is to devote in-class time for active learning to explore the content given out-class time in the greater depth and make the learners to apply their knowledge. It creates richer learning opportunity for learners. Through these activities, teachers work directly with the students and guide meaningfully. This helps students to build mental model of what they have learned. What does this interactivity mean? Michael Frins defines active learning strategies as any instruction method that engages students in the learning process. Let us just pause the video for a moment and reflect upon. Write what active learning strategy you use in the classroom for engaging the students. I hope you have written. Let us summarize few of the active learning strategies. Sit and talk with peers. Fish bar, sorting strips, jigsaws, pulling, turn and talk, one minute paper, think, pass, share, 
reciprocal questioning, problem based learning, multi point technique, peer teaching activity, game based learning, pass groups, three step interview. Do we call all the strategy listed above as active learning strategy or it has any criteria to be called as an active learning strategy? All strategy we use in course, class or not active learning strategy. To qualify to be an active learning strategy, the strategy should be created and designed carefully by the instructor that provides space for the students to talk, write, reflect and express their thinking. The strategy has to be explicitly based on the theories of learning. The strategy should be evaluated repeatedly through the empirical research. I hope you understand. Just pause the video for a moment and reflect upon in your opinion which active learning strategy from the above list fulfill the requirements of the learning. Some equipments that are necessary to form and broadcast the lecture videos are presented. Some of them are Screencast-O-Matic, Camtasia PC, TechSmith, Relay, Office Mix and Abort Presenter. After forming the videos, it should be placed online for access of the students. Some of the video sites are YouTube, TeacherTube, Screencast.com, Acclaim and Google Drive. Video interaction software that provides teachers to access some information such as which student watch, which lecture watch, how long watch, how students answer the questions in the video. Some of the software that can be given examples are Educanon, Edupuzzle, Zaption, Office Mix, Verso, TechSmith, About Presenter, Google Apps for Ed. Once a video created, it can be sent to the video hosting site. They can be presented to access by using the LMS. They are not only broadcast videos, they can also provide interaction with the students. Moodle, Shakai, Blackboard, Verso App, Canvas, My Big Campus, Haiku Learning, Google Classrooms can be given as an example for LMS. As a need of the modern art, we need to use the innovative approach to education. Flipped classroom, attract the attention of the learners. Thank you.